Oh, I am here, people. My last day for a while on a lovely island. Hello, friend. You got a nice, strong chair for me? Because you know <laughs> you got to have one fit for the queen. You sure you can handle me this morning? Yes, I can. All right. <laughs> Yes, which one you giving me? Or which one you suggest? I'll give you this chair for 5 EC. <laughs> I am a local. I should be free. Well, I am too. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> A big one? What you mean a big one? They're all the same size. <laughs> what you mean a big one? A big, big one. You said heavy duty, yeah. Right under the tree. A little bit, yes. But the back towards the tree, please. So, yes. Yes, and maybe up a little bit, please, like here. Just a little bit. Good, stop, stop. Yep, I'll do that. Thank you so much, sir. You're so kind. I can't blame you for being yourself. Things don't work out right. So, beautiful people, welcome to my channel. This is Natural of Natural's Tribe. We are also Nokukanya Kumalo. We are also Mutesi. And guess what? We answer to all three of those. <laughs> See the type of things I get in touch with when I come to the water? This is why I love coming to the water because it's, it's a straight meditation. The water and myself is a straight connection to the universe. And I'm telling you, every time, I can appreciate it every single time. Every single time. Just the connection, y'all, the connection. You know, it was such an honor. Um, living in South Africa, even living here, like each place that I've lived, I am so in tune with it, like spiritually. And this is just the beauty of, the beauty of the channel. This is all I'm really trying to uh, share or offer the beauty of my experiences. All of them had ups and downs, pros and cons, but they all were beautiful experiences. Like South Africa gave me back my first African name, I'm talking African ceremony, I'm talking traditional ceremony, I should say. And uh, bless me with a traditional name. So that's where the Nukukanya comes from. And then um, their family name was Kumalo. It's a way of inviting you into the village, into their family. So Nukukanya Kumalo. Igamilami Ginku Nukukanya Wakwa Kumalo. They would be so proud of me. <laughs> so if any of my South African Zulu sister brethren watching this uh, video. I will continue to make you proud and thank you for the experience. So uh, then when I had my experience with uh, Rwanda, Aranda as they say, so it was the Kenya Rwanda language and they named me Mutesi. And um, that was a whole nother experience. You know, I was sitting amongst a beautiful group of people who were speaking a language and I had no idea what they were saying. I was just learning the language. I knew a few words. I knew Umutetsi, which means chef, and uh, Vula, which meant rain. Rain, or was that flower? No, and Bali was flower. So I knew a few words. And um, I was sitting amongst these beautiful people and they just turned to me, one man just turned to me and said, you are now Mutesi. And um, mm, mm, mm. I said, no, I'm not a Umutetsi. 
that sounds so much alike. He said, no, not Umu Tetsi, because Umu Tetsi is a chef. I'm telling you, it's one of the words, one of the few words that I knew. He said, no, not Umu Tetsi. He said, Mu Tetsi. It means one who was loved by many. And I was like, wow. Wow. So this is what the water is getting me in touch with uh, this morning. And that is my connection to the creator. And it's just that simple for me. Because it's the creator that made these experiences possible. Allow me to live out my dreams and goals. I asked for one part of Africa, not two. I asked for one island, not three, and then one twice, and then citizenship. I didn't ask for all that. <laughs> I want to thank you. <laughs> so I'm just uh, going to enjoy my last day. Um, I'm traveling tomorrow. Please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, for those of you that watch me consistently but have not hit the subscribe button yet, could you please kindly do so? <laughs> because one day it's going to happen. So why not now? So yes, um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And I hope your day, wherever you are, is just as beautiful. Because I'm going to get in tune with this water. And it's nice and calm this morning. And it's so clear. I can see the bottom. I can see the white sand at the bottom. And the waves are real, real light. See, just as calm as the breeze is blowing my locks. That's just how it sounds. I hope you can hear those lovely sounds. Let me let you hear the sounds. Even the sound of the birds chirping. Just close your eyes for a second. y'all hear that and feel that it's lovely it's lovely i'm telling you, i could actually hear what sounds like some kind of owl but i didn't think owls came out to the sun went down and i could hear a sound like an owl makes i'm talking about when you close your eyes and really listen to the sounds of the universe so anyway y'all i'm honored and i'm excited to be coming to the other side i don't just get to do business i um also get to see my family and my friends and uh, people that I love and people that love me. I get to have, you know, a whole heap of them on that side, on this side too, but it's good. Um, life is precious. I just, that's all. The water and life is precious. Precious. That is the message today. All right. So love and respect people. I am going in the water. <laughs> Wow, I just got out of the water, guys. Mm. I'm telling you, this thing ain't to be reckoned with. It's just so magical. I'm talking spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Wow. But I'm a little hungry now. The water makes you hungry. Hungry, my students used to say in South Africa, teaching me hungry. Hungry. <laughs> I used to love it. Now, um, I never found no water this nice in South Africa. That was the part that broke my heart. And, um, you know, I begged. I'm using the word beg. Please take me to some nice, clear water. And the Caribbean stands alone on this one, I'm telling you. That's the Caribbean stands alone on this one. So I went to some water in South Africa, but I wasn't pleased at all. Um, I just wasn't. The sand dropped too far down. You know when you step in right on the edge, the water should go down. I mean, the sand should drop a little. Well, that should drop about six feet. If you ain't expected, expecting that, and then you see how the sand here 
goes up like that because the water comes up. Well, guess what? In South Africa, that thing was like that, up like a mountain. So, like, soon as you come out the water, you like facing a mountain to put you back in the water. And I didn't like that. I didn't like that. It didn't feel safe to me. And I've seen one too many sharks, like, way out there. And they got lifeguards blowing horns and keeping you in one one pocket like right here to right here because those sharks are out there so south africa definitely didn't win me over with that one other than that it was beautiful my experience in the village with my elders and the youth and as a teacher in one of the largest schools and in a village i live with no electricity no running water i loved all that but um they didn't win Grenada won. Grenada won, y'all. I will miss you when I'm gone <laughs> until we meet again.